Today we're going to make bread. I've run out of bread so I'm going to mix up a new batch and then go out for a walk and leave it to rise. Okay, these are the ingredients. We've got boiling water, we've got cold water, we've got a jug in which we're going to mix them so that we get water that is blood heat. I've got a pack of Allinson's seed and grain red flour, pack of past action yeast that is known as dried yeast, salt, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar and a little bit of oil. Right, you'll see me mixing these now. Just about a spoonful, teaspoonful. Sugar about the same. Sugar helps the yeast to work. Get. You can mix with anything, but this is a small spatula that I use for mixing my bread. Just give that a mix around. It doesn't matter about mixing at this stage drop of oil, about a tablespoon if you want to measure that, now the water. Pour the boiling water in, add some cold, take a spoon, just feel that with your fingers, more cold, you don't want to kill your wrist when you put water on it to test and that seems about right by finger test it on your wrist blood heat should feel comfortable this wants to be a little hotter than blood heat because we've got cold ingredients and that is just slightly hotter than blood heat now how much is there there I've no idea how much water I use there's 800 centilitres nearly one and a half pints I'll just pour that in while I think now what we're doing here is we're making a very wet mix, much wetter than you would do for bread and we're not going, it would be far too wet to knead with this so we don't need it at this stage, that's still too dry, okay, look at this, it still needs some water in that, that's too dry put the rest of the water in and that should be just about right there. now that type of consistency anywhere near that a little bit wetter wouldn't do any harm it's just how much water went in and about 800 centilitres one and a half pints went in that now I'm giving it a good mix just to distribute the yeast evenly although anything I do it doesn't matter what I do this is going to work now scrape the dough off the spoon and that's why we've got a real sticky mess at this stage sticky mess look at it moving completely sticky now if we put this in a bag plastic bags from Alter are exactly the right size for this bowl you're going to have to sort yourself out with your bowl and your bag so I put the bag over and that keeps it warm. The idea now is to let the yeast work. Now that can work any amount of time. It's up to you when you do the next stage now. It is possible to leave this. Say you did this in an evening before you went to bed. You could leave it overnight. It won't come to any harm. This is the first stage, the working of the yeast. 
After this we knock it back, that means we knock all the air out of it and shape it into loaves. Because I make a very wet mixture, I want a considerable amount of dry flour to achieve this, but I will be able to get exactly the right consistency for kneading, which you cannot if, you, if your mix is too dry. If it's wet, you can add flour until it's just right, and that's what I intend to do. Now the work pass three, and I'll show you the time when I do the next stage. Time is quarter to six. Have a look at the bread. It's a cloth, take the cloth off. Have a look there, it's risen and it's spongy. Spongy, and I'm going to add flour to that to get it to the right consistency. Just look at that, and then I'm, I'm going to use this flour. Asda brown bread flour and I've got two baking pans here which are non-stick and which go in this oven because it's a combi oven and it has a circular turntable so these are ideal but obviously on a conventional oven you use flat trays. You can use bread tins, you can use any kind of form to put them in you'd get big hollows inside so we just do this till it's nice and all over sticky and of a consistency that's going very well next stage is to cut and shake it now now to split this you can make it into any number of rows that you like uh, for my own preference because I'm on my own I don't want the loaves too large so as that might make you two nice loaves that's going to make me six and I'll bake three on each tray So, to shape them, same method as for kneading, obviously a smaller size to it. Just keep it going around then, like that, and there's your loaf on your tray. Same again here. Shape, nice little round shape on the tray. Three of them, three of them on a tray ready, and I'll do the other three. Size will take 30 to 35 minutes. The oven goes on at 240. There's no knowing how long this will take to get to the required size because it does depend on the temperature. Ready with a warm temperature in half an hour. But it may take an hour. There are the two lots of bread and I'm going to cover them with a cloth. Covered with a cloth as an aid to rising. Five to almost five to sorry almost six o'clock and so I've spent less than 15 minutes on that and I had to change the batteries in the camera in the middle of that so that didn't take long did it.